What's up, guys? This is DDP back with another Mavericks post game show. And hey, look at this. We got another solid victory from the Mavericks, another double digit victory as they go to Golden State and smack the dubs around 124 97. Now, we still haven't gotten KP's return. He is dealing with a little bit of an illness, but it sounds like there's a chance he could actually come back tonight against Sacramento. That is something this team really needs because their interior defense and rim protection has been, let's say, a little suspect lately. Now, in this game, you had a ho-hum performance from Luka Doncic, a, a really evenly paced game. I think maybe to some extent with some of his recent shooting struggles, he's dialed back just a little bit on his aggressiveness. I think there's a balancing act he's trying to perform between getting his teammates involved and you know pacing the offense that way and finding his own shot now he did attempt a lot more threes in this game than he did the previous game he still shot nine threes only two of nine there his free throws are still trash right now though two of eight at the line I don't know what's going on with Luka in that regard he's got to figure it out we saw last year after the all-star break he got into his own head a little bit and his free throw shooting and three-point shooting took a plummet there it looks like it's happening before the all-star break this year and you know what I think it actually kind of started right before the all-star break last year if I really think about it so I don't know what it is I don't know if it's a fatigue factor or something like that but that is something that's becoming a little bit of a concern for me regardless he shoots 8 of 19 from the field overall 20 points, 8 boards, 2 assists, even what we would call his bad games, and by the way, he does all that in 27 minutes, even what we call a bad game for him is still a game that most any team would love to have in their starting lineup when, even, I mean, yeah, you want your best guy to do a little more, but in this game, he didn't have to, so other than the free throw shooting and the three-point shooting being in a rut right now, I'm not terribly concerned he had three turnovers on the game so he did have more turnovers than assists the two assist number is also really low by his standards but you know he still had his moments he still made some plays here and there and did what he needed to to help this team elsewhere you got Dwight Powell there are certain matchups Dwight Powell can really make a big impact and this was one of those games Dwight Powell 21 points five boards nine of nine from the field now a couple I think it was last game my first game back in town um that was his first double double of the season for Dwight Powell in that game he follows it up with another very strong performance here again not only is he nine of nine at uh from the field he hits his only three point attempts perfect at the line got a steal as well so really Dwight Powell in 24 minutes did some solid work now, I actually see I have five boards up on there for him. I actually show, looking at the stats now, it's actually six boards. Forgive me, Dwight Powell. There you are, good sir. Six rebounds for Dwight Powell as well. A much better game. There are certain games and matchups where he can thrive. And, of course, a bad Warriors team like this is one where he can do that. The Warriors are, I think, still the worst record in the Western Conference. Let me double-check that real quick on the live spot i know they're in the basement regardless yeah 9 and 33 the next closest is the pelicans at 15 and 26 so you're playing the worst team in the western conference yes it's on the road but this is a game dallas should have smacked them around a little bit and for the most part they did things got iffy in the third quarter towards the end people started freaking out because golden state had these runs you know a 13-0 run at one point they cut the lead down all the way to i think 16 was the lowest i saw it get but cut the de cut the lead down and people started you know freaking out because we've struggled with maintaining these leads in the second half more so late in the fourth quarter we've talked about this team's struggles in the clutch and in what's cheesily named the super clutch which is a three-point game with three minutes or less remaining the clutch is a five-point game with five minutes or fewer remaining so yeah dallas's offense of offensive efficiency drops from about 116 points per uh per 100 possessions uh in that case i don't know the exact numbers but they drop from the best offense in the league to like the 28th offense and then like the 30th offense once you get down into those moments so it gets it gets sketchy. I don't think actually not 30th. I think it's still like 28th, but it gets really sketchy for the Mavericks late in tight games. 
And thankfully, this one didn't have to get that way. Dallas reestablishes the lead. You had another great game out of Bulban. Uh, that is my biggest mistake last game, as I haven't mentioned lately that Bulban has been giving the Mavericks a lot. Marjanovic has been providing a lot to Dallas in the past couple games. He has another solid outing here. 20 minutes out of the big man. That is by far his biggest uh, serving size. Not, not of the season, but compared to the usual. Much, much better. 13 points, 11 rebounds. He got up 14 shots, 6 of 14 from the field, uh, 1 of 2 at the line as well. When you got a guy that big who is just that much of a space eater and that hard to contain around the boards and doesn't even have to jump for it, it's a force of nature that's tough to deal with. And Bulban definitely has made an improvement on this team lately as, as they've been. I think they should have been going to him more, frankly, with KP out. KP's missed, I think, seven games now. Might be returning tonight, potentially. But it depends. He's been dealing with an illness and some body aches and stuff like that. It's not the knee at this point. It's just some kind of virus. I obviously just had a virus right before my trip, so I can I can relate to that. But, yeah, Dallas, is, Dallas did what it needed to do. It's the best offense in the league. It went into the worst team in the Western Conference's house and pretty much blew the doors off. Yes. I would have liked to not have the third quarter slip up that we saw, but that happens. When you have a team that can't protect the rim right now and its interior defense is trash, you're going to run into that. Dallas is like 19th rated defense in the league in terms of points per 100 possessions. Thankfully, I think that still translates to about 109 points per 100 possessions that they give up. And offensively, obviously, when you're scoring 116, you give yourself some wiggle room. So, yeah, even though you don't have a big game out of Luka in this case, you still get enough down the board. Luka was your highest minutes played person tonight, uh, player next to Dorian Finney-Smith, both of them playing 27 minutes. You also got 24 minutes out of Maxi Kleba. 11.7 boards, hit a couple threes. In fact, he hit three threes. And three of four shooting from the three-point line from Maxi. Quality production there from Maxi Kleba. Shout out to him as he's inserted into the starting lineup. Uh, Dwight Powell, again, 24 minutes as well, gave you 21-6, and six, perfect shooting from the field. Hardaway Jr. gave you about what I think Hardaway Jr. is going to give you, uh, only 2 of 8 from 3, but you know what? He still gave you 12 points, 3 boards, 4 assists. That's pretty on par with his uh, standard production for Dallas. Uh, DeLon Wright as well, a couple blocks for him, man. I, I really, really was impressed with that. In fact, I think, looking at the stat sheet, yeah, it looks like uh, DeLon Wright, got both of Dallas's blocks for the game, the only blocks of the game for Dallas. So shout out to DeLon Wright for that. But yeah, Dallas, there's a lot to like with this team when you see it working. And if they can just address, and part of it's going to be helped a lot just getting KP back, uh, the rebounding issue will be taken care of there. In this case, Dallas didn't need it because Dallas nearly out-rebounded the Warriors by 20. They out-rebounded them by 17, 53 to 36, including 15 offensive boards compared to seven. You get KP back in the mix, and it's just going to be even better. He's going to give you another 9 or 10 boards a game, probably, and you're going to get some uh, added rim protection. Even if it doesn't result in blocks, it'll still make things difficult. It'll still alter shots and make guys think twice a little bit. And that's what this team needs. This team needs that presence back because while they've been on this kind of skid we talked about, how uh, previously, when I was before the last two games, they had lost 9 out of 16 games. They've won a couple now. And it's largely been, you know, KP being out means that teams are just camping out and getting all kinds of points in the paint, and we can't really do much about it. So Dallas needs to figure that out, but you got some relief on the horizon here. Uh, for the game, Dallas shoots 51% from the field compared to 45% for the Warriors, 35% from three compared to just 28%. They do knock down 13 threes. Uh, free throws, trash. 13 of 21 for Dallas for just 62%. Now, the numbers attempted, 21 is not bad, but when you're only making 13, and again, Luka misses freaking six, six of his eight free throws, you know you got a problem there. Uh, turnovers, Dallas very good at protecting the ball in this game. Only seven turnovers compared to 14 for the Warriors. The Warriors do out-assist the Mavericks 27-23, but it's a very... Uh, it's, it's pretty evenly matched there. And again, Luke only got two for the game. So that number was going to be a little skewed anyway. Rebounds already talked about Dallas with Delon Wright by himself getting more blocks than the Warriors. Dallas gets that advantage out stole the Warriors five to four, uh, fouls pretty much dead even. So yeah, this is a, 
this is what we should have expected and what we got out of Dallas. And now they're going to go to Sacramento tonight. And Sacramento got us last time. They got us at home. And it was a game that I believe we had KP and Luka because you had the controversy at the end of regulation where you had all those stills showing Luka was clearly hit on the arm as he was shooting a floater basically within four feet of the rim. And the shot fell short because of that. But, you know, chance for revenge here. I know Luka's in a little bit of a rut. I'm hoping he's going to rebound well from this. He didn't play heavy minutes at all, under 30 minutes. And so hopefully that allows him to rebound a little bit better tonight um, in terms of his performance, not in terms of his literal rebounding. That was pretty standard and solid with eight, slightly under his season average, but still. We'll see how they do. But this is this is going to be an interesting matchup because... The Kings are, let me see here, Sacramento. I know Sacramento has had its struggles this year. They surged for a little bit, but they're still sitting at 13th in the Western Conference with a record of, it's literally the inverse of our record. We're 15 and, or 25 and 15. They are 15 and 25. They've lost two straight now. And so maybe, just maybe, you have an opportunity to uh, avenge that loss at the AAC earlier this year. The Mavericks have been the road warriors this year. I don't remember off the top of my head their exact road record at this point, but as we've well established, they're better on the road this year than they than they are at home. So let's see if we can keep this road moniker, road warriors moniker going here. But I'm not going to prattle on too much longer about this game, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know who do you think Dallas needs to get more involved in the offense right now. Do they need to play Bulban? more minutes get him going more a performance like this where you get about 20 minutes out of him uh let me know in the comments below don't forget to like this video subscribe to the dallas prospect buy the t-shirts at represent.com and until next time remember every legend was once a prospect peace